So now we are driving to the farm. So we're bringing with us the two new wines we're going to pair with an amazing food created by this guy, Davide. I am looking for animals because last time I was here, I saw oh, the goat. You haven't met the goat, Romeo. No, I want to see Romeo. Okay, so you just opened the scapestrato. Scapestrato. Okay. And what does scapestrato mean? It's a messy person. Okay. A messy person, unpredictable, okay. very lively. lively. Very lively. And then their other wine is imperfetto, which Imperfect. means imperfect. Of course. Which I appreciate because Bulgari is sort of has all of these wine producers that are very internationally famous, mm -hmm. well known. He's a young new winemaker. He's a very young guy. And uh, and he's saying, I have a different kind of, uh, at least a different attitude, different branding style mm -hmm. than the other kind of, we're so fancy and you should pay 400 euros for yeah. a wine. He's yeah. more like, take me as I am. We're gonna be trying the Scapistrato. Yes. And this is like a, a classic Bulgari super blend. Tusk. A yeah. classic super Typical Tuscan. Super so tusk. what's, what are the grapes in this wine? Okay, this one is a 60% Merlot, 20% mm -hmm. Cabernet Franc, and 20% Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay, so it's so, going to be... A typical blend. A delicious wine, with or without food. It's the absolutely, yeah. Blend. It can work by itself, but also, we're going to see, paired with amazing local food. Yeah. Especially, I would say, like something with uh, tomato sauce, but mm -hmm. uh, with like meat sauce, tomato yeah. sauce. Yeah. So it's very versatile, yeah. basically. Yeah. So that's a very interesting wine for any kind of situations. But anyway, so Scapistrato, Imperfetto. And then their Imperfetto yes. is the other wine, and that is 100% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, kind of in the style of the Sassicaia, mm, which is uh, yeah. not 100%, but it's a majority Cabernet Sauvignon, which was the wine that began yes. the Super Tuscans. Yes. So I wonder if he's like Weird. nodding to them. Yeah, probably, you know, they basically probably. have their own property next to the Sassicaia, basically. It's yeah. so nearby, Everything and the territory is the same, the ground is the same. And uh, I'm, I'm, I appreciate they do just two of them mm -hmm. and not many different varieties. Probably next year it would be the white one, but yeah. I don't say anything. That for me is a secret. But I appreciate the way they work and the mentality they have. So this is why we chose them. Yeah. And one of the cool things I think about the Bulgari area is that you know, people are planting a lot of these, I mean, they're all sort of these international great blends. And when you're in a place like Chianti Classico, where we just featured three separate winemakers, yeah. now we're only featuring one white winemaker from Bulgari. Why, why three from one and why one from the other? Yeah, consider the ground itself. So Chianti Classico has such different varieties of ground. Yeah, there's all these different terrains, terrain, different soils, altitudes. altitudes. So there's yeah. so many varieties uh, that makes the, the wines different, even in a small portion of soil, which is bigger than Bul Bulgaria. Bulgaria is very, it's absolutely yeah, smaller it's small. than Chianti, yeah. but the ground is all the same. Yeah. So basically, and they it's all in the same microclimate yes microclimate is the same altitude basically is the, is the same yeah. basically is the same yeah. and also the ground exactly the yeah. same everywhere yeah. so so this is a cool thing about Bulgari that you can find wines that are hundreds of euros a bottle and you can find wines that are 20 to 50 euros a bottle mm -hmm. similar blend similar wine maybe the big difference is the label more than the Yes. Then the style of wine, it's all the, that Bordolese style. So basically they say, we all make quality in the mm -hmm. interview we did with Matteo. And uh, that is their purpose. Mm -hmm. There's someone who goes beyond, mm -hmm. but I appreciate the fact that they're all joined in consortio. 99% of people are there, so this is uh, the best way to make, uh, even not expensive wine but high quality and good for the any market yeah. yeah all right so i think we're gonna have the, they're gonna prepare a pasta yes i think, right. I think meat sauce is gonna be cool and then we're going to pair it with this wine which i already hey where are the glasses lauren we forgot the glasses <laughs>
beautiful homemade ravioli. <laughs>